Hi guys, welcome. I hope you are doing well. Here it is a short video lecture on process of surface irrigation. We'll cover the detailed method of irrigation in our video lecture series on irrigation water management. But in this video, we are going to discuss only the process of surface irrigation. Then what is surface irrigation? Surface irrigation is a process in which water is applied on the soil surface and this water is distributed on the soil surface by the force of gravity. So during the process of surface irrigation, soil surface acts as a conveyance surface as well it also acts as an inflating surface. It means soil surface does two jobs in case of surface irrigation. The first one is it acts as a conveyance surface. It means it carries water from one point to another point and that is known as conveyance. And the second job is it also infiltrates water inside it. Okay, so there are two jobs done by this soil surface during the process of surface irrigation. This is the reason why the surface irrigation has lower irrigation water use efficiency. This is because these two jobs are done at the same point of time. In case of drip irrigation or in case of uh, sprinkler irrigation, water is generally conveyed inside a pipe. And when water is carried out inside a pipe, at that point of time, there is no losses like infiltration of water is occurred. So that is the reason why in case of sprinkler or drip irrigation, the efficiency is higher because conveyance loss is negligible. But in case of surface irrigation method, during the process of conveyance, water is also soaked inside the soil. That is the reason the conveyance efficiency in case of uh, surface method of irrigation is very low. So coming to different phases of surface irrigation, generally surface irrigation is occurred in four different phases. The first phase is advanced phase. The second phase is wetting phase or storage phase or ponding phase. Then coming to third phase, that is depletion phase. And the fourth or last phase is recession phase. So the, the process of surface irrigation can be divided into four different phases. Then what is this advanced phase? So advanced phase, it is, it is the time period required for water to reach the end of the field, end of the furrow or end of the field. Okay, then second phase is waiting phase or storage phase or funding phase. And this phase, it is the time period between advanced phase and the cutoff of water. Cutoff of water means when water supply is stopped. Okay, so during this phase, the, it is the phase between advanced phase and the cutoff phase. Then what is depletion phase? It is a small period of time between cutoff of water means when water supply is stopped and when the recession of water is start. So it is the time gap between cutoff and the recession. The recession phase is the time required for retreating the downstream end. So this is the somewhat like a definition type. Now we will we'll try to understand these things. Now we will try to understand various phases of surface irrigation from this graph. This is a graph between distance from the field inlet Okay, suppose this is the inlet of the field from here, water is applied on the soil surface. This is the field inlet. And this is the distance from field inlet. And if we'll plot the graph between distance from field inlet and time in last, then this graph will be something like this only. So here we'll say this curve is the advanced curve. Advanced curve. And this phase is known as advanced phase. Then what is advanced phase? Advanced phase is the time period between start of the irrigation. And this is the time when the irrigation is started. And when the water reached the, at the end of the plot or end of the field, then it is known as advanced phase. Okay. And then second phase is storage phase or ponding phase. And it is the time period when 
the advance phase is ending here the advance phase is ending and it is the time period between the advance phase and the cut off of water means when water supply is cut off or stopped then it is the storage phase then the third five the third phase is the depletion phase and it is the time gap between the storage phase means when the water is cut off or water supply is cut off and when the recession is starting so this small period of time is known as depletion phase okay and recession phase it is the time period between the when the retreating of water starts towards the downstream end okay i hope this is clear so now we'll try to understand various phases of surface irrigation by a small practical example i have shot this video for you so here we will try to understand and visualize various phases of surface irrigation so when we started supplying water on the soil surface here we can see the when the so water is approaching on the soil surface this is known as the advance phase okay so this is the advance phase means here water is moving on the soil surface towards the end of the surface this is the advance phase and when the water finally reaches the at the end of the field or at the end of the channel so here water starts accumulating on the soil surface so here water supply is still there and water started accumulating on the soil surface so here in this gap we can see water started moving on the soil surface and this is known as advance curve and when water reaches at the end of the field and when the supply is still there means here supply is not stopped yet then water will start accumulating at the end of the field okay so this period is known as storage period so it means in this video we are at the second stage that is the ponding stage here we can see water supply is still there water supply is still there okay then water supply will be stopped here water supply is still there water is accumulating or ponding water supply is stopped so it means water supply is stopped so this is the cut off phase okay so we have seen the advance curve for the advance phase in which water start moving on the soil surface and reached at the end of the field and when it reaches the, the end of the field it starts accumulating there as the water supply is not stopped okay so during this phase water is stored on the soil surface accumulating on the soil surface and this is known as wetting phase or storage phase or the ponding phase and after this water is cut off and when water is supply is stopped after that a small small period of time is there means water it is between the recession of water and ponding of water it means ponding of water is still there and water is stopped and water will start recessing means a uh, water will stop I mean water will not accumulate water will try to drain out to the soil so before that a small phase of time will be there in which the uh, water will start depleting and this phase is known as the depletion phase so now we are at the depletion phase this is a very small period of time after that recession will start and recession will start from the starting point of the field okay so now we'll see that when water supply is stopped it is the depletion phase after that the recession phase will start so we can see recession phase means water is start uh, draining out from the soil and it is approaching or it is starting from the uh, from the front end or the inlet of the field okay here water has drained out inside the soil towards the downstream or towards the end stream of the field okay so this is known as the recession phase or retreating phase so we have discussed there are four phases of surface irrigation those are advance phase so storage phase depletion phase and recession phase okay in last class we have discussed that the time gap between advance phase and recession phase is known as infiltration opportunity time it means the time gap between advance phase and recession phase is this this time period is known as infiltration opportunity time this is opportunity time so if we we'll notice one thing here we can see the opportunity time at the end of the field because this is the start of the field and this is the end point of the field at the end of point at the end point of the field we can notice the opportunity time is shorter 
as compared to the starting point of the field. So it means at starting point of the field, more water will be infiltrate as compared to end point of the field. This is the reason why more population of water will be occurred at the starting point of the field. So in surface method of irrigation, there are two major losses. The first loss is population loss and this population loss occurs at the start point of the field. And the second type of loss is runoff loss and this runoff loss occurs during the storage phase. And during the storage phase, if sufficient amount of water is accumulated, then there is a chance that the water can break the bond at the end of the field and it can run off. So to avoid these two types of losses under surface irrigation, there is a modified method of surface irrigation, which is known as surge irrigation. So now we'll discuss about surge irrigation. So this surge irrigation was given by Stringham and Kehler. Stringham and Kehler in 1979. Okay. So Stringham and Kehler in 1979, they proposed the surge irrigation, which is a modified method of surface irrigation. So in surge irrigation, there are two phases. In normal surface method of irrigation, there are four different phases, but in surge irrigation, there are two phases. Those phases are advanced phase and second phase is cut-off phase or cut-back phase. We can say cut-back phase. So two phases under surge irrigation, advanced phase and cut-back phase. So due to these phases of surface irrigation, the graph is somewhat like this. So it will be like this. So here the opportunity time will be same at the end of the field and at the start of the field. It means under search irrigation, the opportunity time is equal or uniform throughout the field. That is the reason why search irrigation can prevent percolation loss. So now we'll try to understand these phases of surge irrigation. But before that, we should focus on two characteristics of surge irrigation. That is cyclic time. And another one is cyclic ratio. Then basically this surge irrigation is nothing. This is a modification of surface irrigation in which instead of applying irrigation for a longer period of time, we apply irrigation in shorter intervals. Okay, so this is the reason why surge irrigation is also known as on-off method of irrigation. For example, in conventional method of irrigation, we are applying six hours of continuous irrigation. Due to this continuous irrigation, there is losses like percolation losses or runoff losses. So to avoid this, we can follow surge irrigation in which instead of applying continuous six hour irrigation, we can apply six number of one hour irrigations. Then what is the cyclic time? Cyclic time is on plus off time. For example, in surge irrigation, we turn, uh, we turn on the uh, irrigation system for one hour. Means we irrigated the crop for one hour, then we turn off the system for 30 minutes. So here we can say the cyclic time is on plus off time, that is 1.5 hour. Okay, so this is the cyclic time. Then what is cyclic ratio? Cyclic ratio is the ratio between on time and on plus off time. It means it is the ratio between on time divided by cyclic time. Okay, so here on time is one hour and on, on plus off time that is the cyclic time is 1.5 hour. So this ratio will be your cyclic ratio. And it has been found that usually surge irrigation has a cyclic ratio of 0 0.25 to 0 0.75. So this is about two major characteristics of surge irrigation. Now coming to two phases of surge irrigation. In surge irrigation, there are two phases. Those are advanced phase and cutback phase. So in advanced phase, the cyclic time is usually more than 30 minutes and the flow rate is same as the conventional surface irrigation. It means uh, in surge irrigation during the advanced phase, advanced phase means 
when water will start moving on the soil surface and it has not reached the end point yet okay when it will reach the end point then advance phase will be stopped there after that the cutback phase will start so advance phase is the time period required to reach the water front at the end of the field okay so this is the advance phase and during this advance phase the cyclic time that is on flow of time is more than 30 minutes and the flow rate is the same as the conventional surface irrigation but during this cutback phase the cyclic time is usually reduced to 10 to 20 minutes and the flow rate is usually half of the conventional flow rate means conventional surface irrigation flow rate okay so remember this thing advance phase and cutback phase and due to this cutback phase water remains in the field channel or in the furrow throughout the irrigation and it also infiltrates uniformly throughout the field that is the reason in surge irrigation why the percolation loss is lower so we can have a better look of this percolation loss in case of normal conventional surface irrigation method the flow diagram may be somewhat like this it will be like this it means the more infiltration at the starting point of the field will cause more percolation loss so this is the conventional surface irrigation system but in case of surge irrigation this diagram will be somewhat like this means it is more nearer to the uniform water distribution so this is the surge irrigation and this is the conventional irrigation so under conventional irrigation there is a percolation loss at the starting uh, starting point this is because more infiltration opportunity time is there but under surge irrigation there is somewhat uniform opportunity time that is the reason why surge irrigation has lower percolation loss so this is all about today's lecture it is a small lecture on the process of or various phases of surface irrigation and also we have discussed short derivation thank you for listening take care